All right guys, quick little update here. Um, I went over the charge pipes and uh, the oil line and all that in one of my previous videos. So first things for the mass airflow meter, you've got, this is like the main harness that goes to the here and goes to the computer, the ECU. Now this part is normally all bundled together under one big wad. So if you trim that away, that lets this separate from that and it will go that way. And it will allow you about an extra six inches so you won't need to modify your mass airflow meter wire. Now, the bad part about mod modifying your mass airflow meter wire is that the meter itself works off of resistance. So if you interfere with the length of the the wire that is going to change the resistance value going into your ECU. You know, the longer the wire is, the, the more resistance and the more voltage drop. So if you trim this right here and, and all that and then retape it, you can get extra length for your mass airflow meter. Okay. Now you've got the blow off valve. Now here's how I did the vacuum lines. So you know, your PVC valve, PCV valve is normally right here. And it kind of, it's connected to this hose right here. So I got one of these, put it on my PCV, PVC, whatever. And I used this for my vacuum. I teed off of it once to go to the waste gate. And then the other T runs over through here. And then it dips down and it goes underneath the car and it goes inside and hits my boost uh, gauge. Now for the boost controller, the way it works is you want compressor. This is the compressor side of the turbo. This line right here runs to the boost controller. And then the other line where it runs off the boost controller to the actuator solenoid down here on the turbo you'll see it um, basically all this does is it's a controlled air leak so whenever this turbo system from the factory built up a set amount of psi that actuator would open and dump the excess pressure out down here so if you put this controlled leak aka boost controller in here and you turn it up what it's going to do is not trigger that actuator until later so you'll build more boost okay now when you go to install the turbo there's going to be a bracket right here somewhere you're going to want to take off I think it's right here actually so this will all fit uh, this goes on first just the manifold turbo comes up from the bottom you cannot have this uh what is this downpipe connector it's from here to here and then your downpipe's right there so the the manifold goes on turbo comes up from below you can't really have your lines hooked up either because there's not enough room. There's barely enough room to get the turbo up in there. So you slide the turbo up in there and then you can kind of reach down here and pull it and get the studs lined up, get the nuts and the bolts on there. And then after you do that, um, you get the wastegate connector, this piece right here up in there, you mount it to the turbo and then you hook up your oil line and then you hook up your water lines and your vacuum lines and that can all be done from below so make sure you do the manifold up top turbo from the bottom and then from there that's how you do that um, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass but uh, it's not that big of an issue all right so now what we're gonna look at is water lines so you've got one water line right here, which is right, goes into the throttle body. And then you've got another water line right there. And it goes into the thermostat housing area. 
directly underneath this big hose. So you've got water that comes out of here, runs through the turbo, comes back out, and then goes through this hose back into the engine. And that hose that I just pointed at is the one that's on the thermostat housing directly underneath this right here. And um, I believe that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I'll take you over the engine real quick so you can look. Also, if you have any questions at all, and there's anything at all you need help with, you get stuck with, look me up on Facebook. It's I-K-E is my first name, Ike. And then my last name is Costner, C-O-S-T-N-E-R. That's my name on Facebook. Um, my profile says I live in Somalia. Um, obviously, I don't. But uh, if you want to look me up, I will be happy to help you with anything that you need. So, shoot me a friend request because a lot of times with Facebook, you send someone to a, send someone a message and it just goes to their um, message request folder. So, shoot me a friend request so I know to actually check my folder. And... Uh, if there's anything else you need help with don't hesitate to look me up and I'm gonna do the wideband video next so be looking for that one